If you have a 2018 or newer Dodge Ram or Jeep vehicle and you're trying to use HP tuners to read, flash, or data log, you may need a smart access cable. Let's install one. The vehicle I'm working with today is a 2018 Dodge Ram Eco Diesel. It is built on the sixth month of 2018, and this one is located right behind the radio. Your vehicle may be in a different spot, possibly underneath the left kick panel, and some are located on the passenger side behind the glove box. But on this truck, Dodge was nice enough to locate it right behind the radio where it's really terrible and hard to get at. So first thing you're gonna do is unhook your positive battery cable. It's very important that you do this. Do not skip this step. You're gonna grab this here rubber piece and just pull straight up on it and grab it out of the way. And you'll see there's a seven millimeter headed bolt under there. You'll go ahead and take that out. Grab this little rubber tray, pull it out of there. And you'll see two Phillips head screws. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove those. Next, you'll just remove this small rubber piece in this little cubby. And in behind there, you're gonna find a seven millimeter headed screw. You're gonna go ahead and take that out. With those screws all removed, open up your center console lid. With all those screws removed, you're just gonna go ahead and grab the center console and pull straight up on it. And there's a few tabs holding it in place and it'll pop right out. And then you'll just need to disconnect the 12 volt accessory plug right there and you can move it out of the way. You'll then pop out this little rubber piece on top of the dash and take out the two Torx head screws under there. The next step will be removing this whole trim bezel around the radio. It's just snapped in place. So all you're gonna do is get a good grip on it and give it a good pull and it'll pop out and then pull down and swing out of your way. Once you have the trim panel pop forward, then you'll be able to gain access to the radio. There'll be four screws, two on each side holding it on. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just remove those four screws. With the four radio bolts removed, you're just gonna take the radio screen and flip it up out of the way. Just kind of hold it up there. And then you'll see the three bolts holding in this black bracket. The security module is mounted on the back side of that black bracket. With those three bolts removed, you'll be able to take the security module, get it turned sideways and gain access to the wiring down the back on the bottom here. The plug-in for the HP tuners bypass cable is the bigger plug out of the two, it's the further down one. So you're gonna unplug that, plug it into the bypass cable, and then plug the bypass cable back into here. And with the cable installed, you can go ahead and reconnect your battery. And once you're completed all your flashing and data logging and all that good stuff, you can go ahead and remove the smart access cable from the truck, but you will have to reinstall it if you plan to flash it again, read it again, or data log with HP tuners. I hope this helped you out and thank you for watching.